feet a little wider than our hips in this practice of generosity. Why did I choose generosity today? Well, I think that generosity and yoga have a lot in common. The attitude of generosity is to give our positive potential to others. And in yoga, we give our positive potential to our practice without expecting anything, not even the appreciation in return. So they have a lot in common, our yoga practice and generosity. Be generous with yourself today, take options where needed, and try to make your postures full and abundant where you can. We'll start in with Loka Samasta Sukhinu Bhavantu, and I'll break that down for you. Loka means all beings. Samasta, equal. Sukhinu, happy, free, comfortable. Um, and Bhavantu is liberated, freedom. So may all beings equally be happy and be free. This is what we're chanting to this morning. Om Loka Samasta Sukhinu Bhavantu. If you know it, join in. Otherwise, soak up the delicious vibration from all of us who are chanting it in your direction and all around you. Exhale all the air. First one starts with Om. Om Loka Samasta Sukhinu Bhavantu. Two more times. Loka Samasta Sukhinu Bhavantu. Loka Samasta Sukhinu Bhavantu. And may our actions contribute to that happiness for all beings. Om Shanti 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 together. Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. And opening the arms, opening the eyes, and we'll take our feet back to that really nice big open stance. Just rock your hips a little bit. We're gonna to practice today something called swinging alternate nostril breathing. So our feet are facing slightly out, heels are slightly in, or you can have parallel feet. We're gonna inhale, you can watch me first, inhale to, and swing to the right as we breathe through the left nostril. So we're breathing through the nostril of the arm that we're lifting like this. You don't have to close off your right, you're welcome to, but you don't have to, try to do it with your mind. And then we'll exhale down, inhale, breathing through the right nostril as we twist left. All right, ready to go? We're gonna give this a try. We have 10 rounds. If you get tired or dizzy, stop and take ujjayi breath. Here we go. Inhale, left nostril. Exhale, soften the knees. Inhale, right nostril. Exhale. Inhale, left nostril. Exhale. In. X. That's two rounds. Keep moving. So you're breathing from the nostril of the arm you're lifting. Same side. Seventh round, eight, nine, last round. Mm. 
Inhale, back to the center. Hopefully you felt that all the way into the low back area and really felt the alternate nostril breathing. So again, these practices, we do them just because they've been tried and true. We don't expect anything in return. We usually do feel great afterwards, but of course, we approach it with the attitude of gratitude or attitude of generosity, same as your giving today and being here. So we're gonna inhale, extend the arms out, and exhale, reach far to the right, and take your left arm up and over. We're going for our lateral flexion here. Inhale, come back to the center, and then exhale, reach the arms down. These are classic uh, vinyasa sequences in the Krishmacharya lineage. Inhale, extend the arms out. Exhale, reach far left. Right arm goes up and over. You can turn your gaze up. Inhale, back to the center, and then exhale down. Inhale, extend. Exhale, go to the right, look up through the left, inhale, exhale, inhale, far left, so I'm going in the same direction that I'm saying, inhale, and exhale, one more on each side, inhale, exhale, far right, look under the left arm, inhale, Exhale, in, exhale, inhale, legs are active, mula bandha is active, exhale. Now we're in our traditional classic trikonasana, feet are parallel to the edges of the mat, we're going to stay with it. So it was first dynamic, then little, it will be static. This is a kind of an old fashioned trikonasana. Inhale, extend the arms out to either side. Now swing your hips slightly left as you reach far right. Both feet remain parallel. Take the right hand down. Turn the left palm up, but keep your gaze in the center here. So we're just modifying it a little bit to really get into that lateral flexion. Three more breaths. We're staying for six. Really feel the opening through the left side. Be generous with this opening. Keep lifting your left underarm to the sky. Don't give up. One more breath. Nice. Inhale, come back to the center. Ooh, exhale here. Maybe your left side feels about six inches longer and taller than your right. Let's see if we can adjust that a little bit. Extend the arms out. Exhale, swing your hips slightly right as you reach left. Feet stay parallel. Bring the right arm up, palm facing in, but keep your gaze forward. And I want you to keep, maintain a beautiful, generous lift through the right arm. Active legs, active pelvis. Lift the pelvic floor. Belly slightly in and up towards the heart. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale, rise. Okay, I think we've adjusted now. I feel equal on both sides. So we're going to take our block and put it in front of us. Actually, go ahead and take it all the way over to the, just in front of the right foot. Inhale, extend your arms out. Exhale, twist right and reach your left hand towards that block. Go ahead and put it on high octane, right? Keep it nice and high if you'd like and feel this delicious twist. Belly, ribs, heart. You can inhale to open it a little wider. Spread your toes, lift your arches. Keep the active energy pulling between the right and left foot and pushing through the heel and the ball of the foot. Soften your shoulders away from your ears, active legs. One more breath. Soften the knees, come up facing the right, facing the right, and release your arms and turn back to the center. Now take your block over to the left. 
Inhale, extend the arms out. Exhale, twist left. Take a breath in with me. Exhale, reach far for the block. Taking the left arm high. Swing your hips back. Keep pulling the energy of the feet towards one another. Feel the ball of the foot. Lifting the arches. Six breaths, we have three more. One more breath. Now you're gonna come up facing the left. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist back to the front. Very nicely done. All right, we're going to take our block now to the front of the mat to use it later. So we're going to turn our heels in and toes out again in a molasana fashion or a garland pose fashion. Lift your heels a little, ah, and then release them. Lift the toes a little off the floor, and then release. So we're going to start with a sweeping breath. Inhale, lift your arms high, legs are straight. Exhale, bend your knees out to the side. Make sure they're angling in the same direction as the toes. Go as low as you'd like, hands down. We have 10 of these beautiful sweeps today. Inhale, we're working towards a beautiful giving tree pose today. Exhale. Inhale, reach up, lift up. Pull in your ribs, Mula Bandha's engaged. Exhale, you've got Pada Bandha. Lift your arches. Inhale. Drishti goes up as you rise. Exhale, drishti comes down as you come down. In. Ex. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale, start to engage ujjayi breath. Breathe through the throat, slight constriction. Make the sound, but a light sound. A sound that you can hear, but your neighbor doesn't have to. And if you're practicing at home, I'm sure your neighbor's very far. <laughs> so make it a light one anyway. Good, one more breath. Inhale, lift up. Really reach, make it a generous reach. Good, exhale. Bring the hands down, turn your feet forward again, toes slightly in, heels slightly out. Bring your hands behind you and don't let them touch the bottom. So we want them to be away from the bottom. Stretch your arms back and slightly lengthen the tailbone and lift your heart. Five delicious breaths here. Squeeze the arms. You can soften your knees. One more breath. Good, and release the arms, and exhale, release the hands. We're going to turn to the right. Now our heels are aligned, so the back foot is open to 45 degrees. If you want, you can step your right foot over to the right a little more and turn your left toes in a little bit more to give you more space in your hips. Parsvottanasana, but moving Parsvottanasana, so pyramid pose. I'm going to inhale, take the arms up, reach up, chin is towards the throat, and exhale, keeping Jalantara Bandha, Mula Bandha, reach forward, hands to the block, or hands to the floor as you like, roll your right hip back, left hip forward. Now we're going to just inhale, come up to Ardha Parsvottanasana, exhale, Parsvottanasana. Six times, inhale, rise, hands on block or floor. Inhale, lifting, exhale, lowering. One more lift. 
And then exhale, stay, walk your hands forward as your crown, as your forehead comes towards your right shin. Keep rolling the right hip back, left hip forward. If you come out of balance, you can take your right thumb and roll your right hip back. Six breaths here. We're on breath three. Just doing the practice for the sake of the practice. One of our most famous yoga teachers says, Matabi Joyce says, practice and all is coming. He doesn't say when, right? He doesn't say how. Give yourself a generous practice. Bend the knee, right knee. Bring your arms in front of your mat. Arms are parallel to the floor. Inhale, rise using your core strength. And exhale, straighten the right leg. Step the left foot forward. But your right hamstring feels nice and generous right now. Take the right foot open or back. Again, you can align your heels opening the back foot a little bit more, or you can separate your feet. Left front foot goes left, right foot goes a little right. Then you can turn your toes of your right foot to about one o'clock. So we're gonna inhale, reach the arms up, lifting your heart. Exhale, chin stays at the throat, forward fold. Parsvottanasana. Square your hips. Six lifts and falls with breath. Inhale, chin stays at throat, lift the torso. Exhale, forward fold. That's one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, chin stays at throat as you lift through the torso. Exhale. You can take your left thumb to your hip and roll it back. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Now let's come up halfway and then slowly walk your hands forward. Forehead tries to come to the left shin. Static pose, right hip rolls forward, left hip rolls back. Mula bandha is engaged, Uriyana bandha is engaged. Pull the belly button in and up towards the heart and definitely Jalandhara bandha is engaged. Chin is towards the throat. Giving yourself a beautiful Mahabandha practice here. Squeeze your left quadricep if you want your left hamstring to open. It's certainly fine to keep bending the left knee. If you want a little more opening through your hamstring, squeeze your left quadriceps, upper thighs. Last breath. Bend the left knee, reach your arms in front of you. Arms are parallel to the ears. Inhale, rise using your core. And exhale, release the arms. All right, we have Sukha Namaskara, a Krishnacharya Namaskara. Um, simple to practice, but can be tedious on the hamstrings if you have tight hamstrings. So be sure to keep a, a small bend in the knees. We're just practicing six on each side today. So left foot steps back. And we are warmed up for it. We've worked through most of the postures to warm us up for this practice. So we step the left foot back, right foot is forward. Inhale, you can join me. Reach the arms up, looks familiar, right? Exhale, chin maintains that throat lock. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the right knee, reach your arms forward. Inhale, we're in warrior one. And exhale, straighten the right leg and come down. Good, five more, inhale. I'll lead you through two more. I'll let you do three on your own, exhale. 
Inhale, come up halfway. Chin stays at the throat. So don't just lift the head. Exhale. Bend the knee. Inhale, reach forward and up. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Up halfway. Exhale. Bend the knee. Inhale. Virabhadrasana one. You can release your chin because this is essentially a back bend. Exhale. Okay. Three on your own. Ready? I'll keep doing them. If you get lost, you can watch. Make sure you take complete, generous breaths. Don't be in a rush. One more on this side. And when you come up, you can lift your chin if you'd like. And then we return to neutral and step the left foot forward. Okay, my right side feels about two feet taller. Let's see if we can fix that. Left foot is forward. You're welcome to reach for your block. Hips are square. So you can separate your feet a little bit. Give yourself some generous space. Inhale, arms up. Uttita Hastasana. Exhale, Parsvottanasana. Chin stays at the throat. Square your hips. Inhale, Ardha Parsvottanasana. Keep the chin at the throat. Exhale, Parsvottanasana. Bend the front knee. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, chin stays at throat, lift heart, lift torso. Exhale. Bend the knee, inhale, lift your heart, lift your head a little. Exhale. I'll do one more with you saying it and then you're on your own for three. Inhale, Utita Hastasana. Exhale, chin at throat, Parsvottanasana. Keeping chin at throat. Inhale, lift the torso. Exhale, Parsvottanasana. Bend the knee. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale. Three more on your own. I'll keep practicing them with you. Last one. Nicely done. And stepping forward. Ah, we have Surya Namaskar to help us to stretch a little bit of this out. Cross your thumbs. Inhale, lift your heart. 
stretching out the legs, stretching out the torso, exhale, forward fold. Gazing into the navel. Inhale, step the right foot back, look forward. Exhale, left foot back, tip of nose is your drishti. Inhale to a plank pose. Now you have the option to swing through or take knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward. Exhale, left. Inhale, cross the thumbs, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Gaze into the navel. Inhale, left foot steps back, looking towards the third eye. Exhale, right foot steps back, tip of nose is the first. Option to swing through or knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Exhale, right, gaze back into the navel. Cross the thumbs, slight bend the knees, make it soft, lift your heart. Try one more on your own. I'll be practicing it with you. Remember the right will go back first. And have take a generous step back. Exhale. Swing through or plank. Take the right foot forward. Third eye drishti, left, reach, left side, I won't say anything. And rest a moment in Tadasana. Open your palms, roll open your shoulders, open your heart. From John Wesley, do all the good you can by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places that you can, at all the times you can, to all the people that you can, as long as you ever can. That's credited to John Wesley from the 1700s, a theologian, philosophist. Keeping your heart open, your hands open. This time we're gonna come back to Surya C and stay on the knee for three breaths. Cross the thumbs, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold, make a nice straight spine. You can bend your knees. Inhale, step the right foot back, the knee comes down. Reach your arms in a U, arms up, arms overhead. Three big breaths here, generous breaths. See if you can breathe from the collarbones all the way down into the bowl of the pelvis. Second breath. Third breath. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, swing through or plank and exhale, knees, chest and chin. Swing through doesn't require the knees, chest and chin. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward, left knee down. Breathe deep, reach your arms up, just three breaths. Turn your gaze up to the point between the eyebrows or the point between the ceiling and the wall. 
Lift your torso a little, make them big, delicious, generous breaths. One more breath. And see if you can step forward without using your hands. We're gonna bring our hands behind our back and fold forward in Uttanasana. Step forward, hands behind the back. Exhale, forward fold. Reach your arms all the way over the head, gazing into the navel. A humble Uttanasana. Slight bend in the knees, swing the arms forward and up, reaching up, let's try the left side. Remember, we'll stay in the lunge position. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot comes back, the knee comes down. Reach your arms in the best position for you. Three delicious breaths here, inhale. Exhale, one, keep squeezing the right leg in towards the midline. Two, left thigh is internally rotating. Mula Bandha is engaged. Three. And release the hands, downward facing dog. Again, you have the option to swing through or plank knees, chest and chin. I'll swing through on this one. And downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, right knee comes down, lift your heart, three delicious breaths. Remember to squeeze the thighs, scissor the thighs toward one another. Top of the right foot is firmly on the floor, all the toes pressing down to give you a little lift. Ball of the front foot is on the floor firmly. One more breath. And see if you can step forward. This time to be a little trickier, see if you can interlace your fingers now and then step forward and forward fold. Bound Uttanasana. You can bend your knees. Bend the knees, inhale, swing forward, lift your heart. Straighten the legs. Exhale, Uttanasana, working towards standing poses. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, walk your feet to the back of your mat. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and chin or swing through. Inhale, cobra. Cubic bone stays on the floor. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're starting in with warrior one, right foot. Inhale, step your right foot behind your right hand today. Step your left foot a little left and open your back toes. Inhale, lift the heart up. Find your grounding, spread your toes, lift your arches. Active legs, like you're squeezing your thighs towards one another, right hip back, left hip forward. You can lift your chin a bit, turning your gaze out. Making this a very generous posture if you want to open your arms out to the sides, even down here. Five breaths and we'll change to warrior two. One more breath. Inhale, reach the arms up if they were down. And exhale, step your left foot. A nice long line behind your right foot. Now classically, the right heel would align with the arch of the back foot. If that doesn't work for your hips, you can walk your back foot a little bit towards the left side of your mat to get a little more space in your hips. We're here for five breaths. Extend the arms. You might even turn the palms up. Squeeze your bicep muscles so that your shoulders remember this. So the backs of your arms, and then after you've squeezed them, you can turn your hands back down again, gazing over the right middle finger. Mula Bandha is engaged. Mm -hmm. 
Nice open hips for a generous tree today. One more breath. Keeping this position, I'm sure your thighs are burning a bit. See if you can take the right arm to the thigh, left arm to sky, option one, option two, right hand down, option three, take a bind, but don't close your top shoulder. Five breaths. Two more breaths. One more breath. And come back to warrior two. And exhale, bring it down to downward facing dog. Take a transition as you'd like or just meet me in down dog. So you can take chaturanga, knees, chest, and chin. Or just meet us in down dog. Five breaths here. Make sure your fingers are widespread, generous. The palm of the hand is lifting a little bit, giving some energy, bringing some energy up from the earth and through the arms today. Hips are lifted as high as they can be. One more breath. Looking forward, step your left foot behind the left hand, please. Right foot opens to the right. So you want to square warrior one. Find your position, arms here, arms out. Whatever helps you to find that beautiful feeling of generosity today. Remembering to be generous with yourself. First, giving yourself space for the pose. Spreading your toes, building a beautiful foundation, and then shining out from that foundation. Turning your gaze up to the point between the ceiling and the wall. One more breath. Good. And then slowly open your right foot. So you want Classically aligned from the heel to the arch of the back foot, but it doesn't always work that way. If you need more space, walk your back foot a little to the right side of the mat, okay? If your hips feel tight. And extend your arms, turn your palms up, squeeze your muscles, squeeze your biceps, squeeze your triceps, and then turn your palms down again. Hmm. Make sure your left knee keeps tracking in the same direction as the second toe. Get taller through the torso as you pull the energy of the feet towards one another. Mula Bandha is active. Chin's coming into alignment with the left arm. Last breath here. Good, and left arm to thigh, right arm to sky is one option. Left hand down to a block or the floor. Other option for Parsva Konasana or find your bind, but don't let your right shoulder roll forward. Turn your gaze up. Active legs. One more breath. Good, and release. So again, you can go right back to down dog, no problem, or take a transition that you like, knees, chest, and chin, chaturanga, as you wish. And downward facing dog. Keep your gaze at the tip of your nose. Press the base of the hands forward like you're pushing, pushing a giant shopping cart full of generosity. Push it forward. Active fingers. Balls of the feet are down. Balls of the feet. Heels reaching to come down. If that doesn't work through your hamstrings and bend your knees and stretch your spine instead. Good. 
One more breath here. I'm going to look to the front and step the right foot in between the hands for a high lunge position. So back leg is active. Inhale, lift your arms. Again, you can find a little more generous position if you'd like with your shoulders, with your chest today. With your arms, with your hands, make sure your fingers are nice and wide spread. Very nice. One more breath. Now reach the arms to the sky and twist right slowly, slowly, slowly. If you need, you can lower the back knee. Try to gaze back to your right hand. It's a generous twist. Keep pulling the right leg in towards the center line. Lift tall out of the torso, out of the hips. Good, and inhale, come back to the center. And exhale, make your way back down to the floor with your hands. Meet you in down dog or any other variation of transition. Let's take the left foot in between the hands, high lunge. Set your position, make sure the ball of the right foot is firmly placed. Right leg is active, big, generous pose, five delicious breaths here. Shoulders lower, even if your arms are up, try to lift your arms from your side body. Squeeze the thighs towards one another, scissoring them. Squeeze the left glute a little bit, pulling back. Looking good, one more big breath. Good, inhale, reach the arms up. Option to take the knee down at any time. Exhale, twist left, looking towards your left hand. Again, very generous twist. One more breath. Very nice, turn the head forward, shoulders, rest of body. Lifting your heart, lifting your hands. Exhale, bring the hands down and take any transition you'd like. Downward facing dog, I'll meet you there. We're gonna walk our feet a little closer to our hands. And look forward, so it's a very short dog. Step the left foot, you might have to come into tented fingertips to do this, step the left foot forward. And inhale, lift your arms. And try for dancer's pose from here. Take the right hand down, Natarajasana, and slowly stand up and bend the right leg. You can stop here today. You don't have to go any further. Or you can kick away the right leg Counterbalance through the upper body. <laughs> Counterbalance through the upper body. Six generous breaths, a little longer than our standing poses. One more breath. And inhale, rise, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the head, exhale, just walk the feet back to a very short dog. Short dog. Stretch out the calf muscles. Lift your kneecaps a little. If you have hyperextended knees, soften the knees instead and squeeze the muscles around the knees. Step the right foot forward this time. Inhale, rise. 
Exhale, left hand comes down, stand straight on the right leg. Inhale, straight up on the right leg. Left hand grabs your left ankle. Stay here if you'd like, or bending the right knee just a tiny bit to get a little shock absorbency. Kick away first, and then counterbalance through the front of the body. Breath two. Inhale. Three. Inhale, four, inhale, five, breathe in, and six, inhale, rise, and exhale, release the arms. Vrikshasana is the next posture, tree pose. So I'll switch over here so you can see me well. So remember, we have a flowing tree today. Remember that you can also keep your heel just above the left ankle for this. You don't need to lift your leg much higher. This is also tree pose. Okay, so we're going to put our weight into the left foot. Spread the toes, lift the arch of the left foot. Bend the right knee. And then open the hip. Should be quite nice now after you've done all that hip opening today, hamstring opening, legs are happy, torso's happy, heart is happy. You can stop here or you can lift here to here. Good. And reach your arms out. Great. Inhale, lift your torso. Exhale, release your right hand and bend over to the right. Inhale, right hand comes up. Exhale, hands come down through the center line. I'm going to try that again. Inhale, reach the arms up. Keep pressing your right foot firmly against the inner leg. Exhale, right hand comes down. Inhale, right arm comes up. Exhale, hands come down through the center. One more time. Inhale, so just three rounds. Keep Ula Bandha engaged. Press your foot firmly against the leg. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale and release. Nicely done. So anytime, feel free to come back to this position. Bend the left knee, placing your weight in the right foot. Follow the foot. Lots of action behind the big toe, little toe, both sides of the heels. Open the left knee. Lifting the foot if you'd like to. Ready? Inhale, reach up. Exhale, peel the weight of the left hand, bend over to the left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Stretch the leg. Let it be graceful. Come back to the front of our mat. If you weren't already there, inhale, lift your heart. We're going to be facing the side of our mat for Upavista Konasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, walk the feet back. Nice long stretch and downward facing dog. Bend one knee and then the other. And then lower the knees to the floor. And swing your feet to one side, bringing the bottom down. And we're going to open into Upavishta Konasana, stretching the legs as long as we can. Apart. So if you need blocks under your knees, because of tight hammies still, 
feel free to take that. If you need a cushion under your bottom to help you to tilt forward, a blanket, you can use that as well. So we're gonna start here, just feeling the sit bones on the floor, feeling the heels on the floor, the legs, wherever they're touching, on the floor. Feet are very active. So by the legs staying active, we can stabilize our pelvis in this pose. Keep your legs strong, keep squeezing the muscles. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, walk your hands forward only halfway. Pull the chin towards the throat. Take a big breath in. You can stay here, toes pointing to the sky. Exhale here. Or you can go further, chin comes towards the throat. Mula Bandha is engaged, Uddiyana Bandha. Jalangara Bandha, or further forward. Six delicious breaths, that was one. Here's two. Third breath. Four. Fifth breath. Sixth breath. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, make your way back with a nice straight back. All right, from here, bring your hands behind you and lift your heart, option one, to stay here. If you wanna go a little bit further, you can activate your legs more and lift your whole body. Big starfish pose. Lift your heart. See if you can stay six breaths. Remember that the option is bottom down, hands back, six breaths, squeezing the shoulder blades together or lifted bottom. This is breath three. You can point your toes, squeezing your legs. One more breath. And release the bottom to the floor and come back to neutral. Good, we're gonna bend over to the right, lateral flexion, reach your right arm far right. Good. And left arm reaches up and over. Keep your gaze in the center. Keep both legs active. Six breaths. Keep reaching from the quadratus lumborum, that really tight muscle between the bottom rib and the top of the hips. Lengthening, breathe into it. Inhale, come back to the center. And exhale, reach far to the left, reaching your right arm up and over, keeping the gaze in the center. Try to reach from the lowest part of the right side of your back, that low one-fourth of your back. Squeeze your legs. Two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale back to the center. Now this time to get a little deeper into the low back, give yourself a little more generous opening, bring the right leg behind you. And you have the option here, turn this way, you have the option to lift and bring your left hand to your right heel, all right? So you can wait to do that when we get down there too, is if you'd like, it's a little easier that way. And otherwise, left hand will be over to the right thigh. Reach your right arm up and all the way over. Now you can lift your bottom, reaching for your heel. I want you to turn your gaze up this time, six breaths.
One more breath. Inhale, rise. Exhale here. And let's stretch your right leg long. Take the left leg behind you. Option to, option to place right hand at thigh or lift and bring it to the heel. Inhale, lift the left arm. Exhale, find your bend. Turn your gaze up. So it's turning into a twist now. Breathing through the left side of your back, through your left rib cage. Keep spiraling your heart towards the sky generously. With one more breath. And inhale, let go, come up and release, by leaning to the right, release your left leg. Now we're gonna bend our knees and reach our arms underneath the legs. Inhale, lift your heart. You can turn your toes up, heels down. Exhale, walk yourself halfway forward and then pull your chin in towards your throat. Jalandara Bandha. Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha. So pelvic floor is lifted, belly's in and up and chin is towards your throat. Jandara Bandha, Maha Bandha. You can stay here. If you are very flexible through the legs and the hips, you can fold forward into Kurmasana. Four more breaths. One more breath. Inhale, lift the head, bend your knees, slide the hands back. Ah, delicious feeling in the legs. So we're gonna to get to prepare for our mild inversion today. To get ready for that with all that leg opening, let's bend our knees and just rock our hips a little side to side. The glutes a nice massage. And then come back to the center. And our inversion today is bottom on a block. If you prefer to take shoulder stand, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, so we're going to lay back on the mat and lift the knee, or lift the bottom, excuse me, and put your block right under the sacrum. So that bony part of the bottom of the spine, that triangle or diamond shape there. And we're going to start by taking our hands to our shins and giving our low back a nice stretch. Soften the abdomen, allow the navel to reach down to the floor. Press into the low back. And then stretch the legs up to the sky, arms out to the sides. Keep the reach of your feet. Reach through the heels to start. Really reach through the heels. Belly drops, heels lift, chin is towards the throat. Belly's in and up. Mula Bandha is engaged. This is an active pose. Now point the toes. Come back to neutral feet, turning the heels together and the toes out to either side. Charlie Chaplin feet. Push through the heels, push through the balls of the feet. Just 
Spread your toes, make it a generous lift. Like you're kindly, generously holding the ceiling up right now. Keep that press up or holding up the sky if you're outdoors. Good, and then the legs come back to neutral and slowly bend the knees again. This is a nice forward fold, pressing your hands onto the shins. You can lift your head a little towards the knees. If you still feel comfortable on the block, keeping your block here or removing it. And then the soles of the feet come down. Lift your bottom. Extend your block or take your block over to the side and find your props for Shavasana. Finding your props for Shavasana. Maybe you'd like to have a blanket under your head so that your chin can be closer to your throat and you can eat more easily, pull your shoulder blades together, separate your feet. Take a big breath in through the nose. I'll be coming up to read you a quote today and then breathe out through the mouth. Breathing in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. One more time, breathe in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth. Notice your body. Let this be a very generous shavasana, a time to reestablish union with your breath. If it got too fast for you anywhere along the way today, time to reunite with the spirit. Calm the mind. Our Shavasana, we want that attitude of generosity again, to give our positive potential without expecting anything. We set it up well, and who knows? Maybe we'll be floating somewhere. Maybe we won't. Good, gracious acts are worth much, but cost little. Just the gracious act of opening your chest here, separating your feet, moving your hands from your side body, softening the tongue in your mouth, softening the jaw. Softening the shoulders, the chest, the rib cage, the abdomen, the hips, the upper legs, and the lower legs. becoming soft and generous. I'm reading it to you today in a passage from Mother Teresa called The Final Analysis. People are often unreasonable illogical, self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and frank, people may cheat you. 
be honest and frank anyway. What you spend years building, someone may destroy overnight. Build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, they may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give the world the best you have anyway. You see, in the final analysis, it is all between you and the divine. It was never between you and them anyway. Resting in this generous Shavasana, another five minutes. Really take up the space and allow yourself to melt in this moment. Do it anyway. Make sure today you take a kind gesture towards yourself and toward another. Let this be your kind gesture towards yourself.
Slowly start to come back. Our generous spirit into this space and time. Spread the toes, spread the fingers. Turn your head slowly. Bring both knees in towards the chest. And just take a little twist here. Just take your knees over to the left. Your left hand can be on the top part of the thigh. Turn your gaze right towards your right hand. One more generous twist to the spine. Spines love twists. Getting the synovial fluid in the joints. And then bring the knees back to the center. And the gaze back to the center. And take your knees right, right hand on the top of the left thigh. Turn your gaze far left. Stretching open your chest. One more. And then slowly roll your whole body to the right. Take three breaths. One more breath. Bring your left hand down to the floor and press yourself carefully up to the side. And then turn towards all of us virtually here, enjoying this practice today. Hands meet at the heart, Anjali Mudra, for grace and reverence. Loka Samasta Sukhinu Bhavantu. May all beings equally be happy and be free. And may our actions contribute our generous actions contribute to the happiness and the freedom of all beings as we, as we give and offer our positive potential. Ready? One time only. Breathe in. Om Loka Samasta Sukhinu Bhava. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. That's been such an honor to lead your practice. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to. Om Shanti.